Hello friends, my name is Catherine and today I want to show you a recipe that I am writing on this mug for mug brownies. Um, it is a really cool thing that I am trying out and hoping will work. The other day I showed you writing on a mug for a lemon mug cake and today I want to do one for mug brownies. I've also found a fine sharpie so this should be a little bit more fun. Um, first thing that you're going to want to do is wipe it down with like a baby wipe or an alcohol swab. You know, something to get off any oil or anything that might have been left on there from the packing and shipping. Um, you're going to want to use a mug that is cheap. The cheapest mug you can find, the better, because... The idea behind this is that we are going to write on it with Sharpie, let that Sharpie dry, and then put it in the oven on the hottest temperature possible for the longest time we think we can leave it in there in the hopes that it will melt or at least soften the glaze and um, let the Sharpie incorporate with it. it it is important to have the cheapest one you can in that case because cheaper ones are going to use a cheaper glaze which will melt at a lower point. Um, so hopefully you will be able to get one that has a low enough melting point that it will, at the very least, soften in a home oven. Uh, then you're going to write your recipe on your mug. That's no good. And if you have baby wipes and you mess up with a Sharpie because they're alcohol based, you can wipe the ink back off again with the baby wipe um, until it is you've baked it, in which case then you're doomed. Um, but I wanted to write this in all caps. go mug brownie um, you're going to want to put it into the oven while the oven is cold and then turn your oven on and turn it up to the highest temperature possible leave it as long as you feel comfortable I'm going to turn mine up to about 500 and leave it on for um, well as long as I can really probably about three or four hours and then what I'm going to do is turn the oven off without opening the oven door and let it cool down in the oven on its own as heat naturally escapes the oven. That way it cools as slow as possible just like it heated as slow as possible with the oven itself. Um, that, both of those steps to let it heat up with the oven and let it cool down with the oven are to avoid shocking your ceramics because sudden temperature changes, both to the hot and cold, can cause ceramics to break. Um, not anything that you'd normally do with cooking, but like putting a cold mug into a 500 degree oven, that could do it. Um, so let's just write our recipe. We've got the recipe written down right over here. It's got four tablespoons of flour. Ooh, I like that. A tiny writing pen. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of awesome. Four tablespoons flour. Four tablespoons sugar. Two tablespoons cocoa.
two tablespoons vegetable oil, and then three tablespoons water. All right, that is our recipe. Then we just need to give instructions. So let's see, let's say, nuke, one, two, two, minutes, There we go. That's what I like about mug recipes. They are, on the whole, very simple. This one has five ingredients and instructions for putting it in the uh, microwave and leaving there and leaving it there until it's done. That is, I mean, on its heart, the easiest thing to do. So let's just go through and embellish this a little bit. Let's put some circle dots on either side of that. Just decorate it up a little bit. And let's see, put maybe something around the handle, mm, maybe not. Uh, let's see, maybe underline this in gradually smaller underlines. There we go, and then dot, dot, dot. Oh, I know. Let's decorate the handle, but let's do like a there we go and then take and bring it outward and up like that and bring that one inward as well and then give it some like teardrop things going on and then some dots coming down the handle just from repeating patterns and then flip it over and do the same thing to the opposite side so tiny circles Ooh, that's a bit uneven and hard to write on. That's okay. And then a leaf shape. Going inward by three. And then the teardrop shapes coming outward by three and then dot 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 there we go all right now the handles kind of fancified and then let's see let's do maybe a flower right over here yeah We'll start off with a swirly center and then give it some small petals. And 
then some larger petals. And then maybe four leaves. So that leaf shape that we did before. There we go, and then maybe like some graduating outward arches. Go just to give it a little bit more interest. And oh, let's do some dots outward from the points of those leaves, because why not? There we go. What do you think? Not too terrible. And that is a mug with the instructions for mug brownies on it. If you liked this, definitely let me know. I love doing these and I'm thinking about doing a couple of more of more, a couple more. So if you liked it, say something. I'd ha always be happy to hear from you. I'm putting up new videos every day. So there's always something new to see. And I encourage you to subscribe. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.